الحمد لله الحمد لله إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهدي الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له نشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد أن سيدنا وسندنا ومولانا محمدا عبده وحبيبه ورسوله أما بعد فيا عباد الله أوصيكم بتقوى الله وطاعته إن الله مع الذين اتقوا الذين هم محسنون أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إنهم فدية آمنوا بربهم وزدناهم هدى إلى آخر الآية صدق الله العظيم وقال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم سبعة يظلهم الله في ظله يوم لا ظل إلا ظله وشاب نشأ في عبادة ربه إلى آخر الحديث صدق رسول الله ونتق حبيب الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Dear brothers and sisters Youth is like the spring season of human life It is a period when we have many dreams and ideas as well as power and excitement When youth is used in a good and useful way it brings happiness to this worldly life and the hereafter. But when it is not used in a good way, it only makes us become regretful about past years. As a matter of fact, our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam warned us in the following hadith, take care of your youth before you become old. According to another hadith of our beloved Prophet ﷺ, a youth who grows up in the worship of Allah will be protected under the shade of Allah on the day when there is no shade except his shade. My dear young brothers and sisters, you are now in the most precious moment of your life. You are the hope and future of our community and humanity. Let us remember what the prophets had been doing at our age. At this age of your youth, Ibrahim salam struggle for the Tawheed, oneness of God. Ismail salam showed his full submission to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with the willingness of his self-sacrifice. Yusuf alayhi salam defended his honor, Ashab al-Kaf, people of the cave, demonstrated their sincere faith in Allah in the cave. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam publicly called people for the path of Allah. Again, at your age, Asiya had strong faith in Allah. Maryam had beautiful akhlaq. Khatija had courage. And Aisha had the love of knowledge in the, her heart, in, the, in her heart. Respected brothers and sisters, wherever we are and whichever region or, or country we live in, we must in the first place do the things that are pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. At the same time, we should do good deeds and works that are useful for all humanity and moreover with our behaviors and actions we should get, we should set good examples for others. As Muslims, Living in America, we should carry out our responsibilities more consciously 
and more diligently and continue to work for the well-being of our Muslim community and the American society by preserving our cultural and moral values. Except respected brothers and sisters, young people are our future and hope. They are the source of our inspiration. Every young individual has a special place in our hearts and hence each one of them deserves our love, care, support, kindness and attention. Therefore, we should all work together to educate our youth as best as we can and try to make them as conscious and responsible individuals who will serve for humanity with their faith, knowledge and skills while respecting moral values. I would like to conclude my khutbah by reading to you the following verse of the glorious Quran in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes the people of the cave as an example for us in terms of faith and morality. They were young men who believed in their Rabb and we increased them in guidance. Ala inna ahsan al-kalam. ويبلغ النظام كلام الله الملك العزيز العلام كما قال الله تبارك وتعالى في الكلام وإذا قرأ القرآن فاستمعوا له وأنصتوا لعلكم ترحمون أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الدين عند الله الإسلام إلى آخر الآية صدق الله العظيم الحمد لله حمد الكاملين والصلاة والسلام على رسولنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين تعظيما لنبيه وتكريما لفقامة شان شرف صفيه فقال عز وجل من قائل مخبرا وآمرا إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل سيدنا ونبينا محمد كما صليت وكما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد اللهم انصر الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم أيد كلمة الحق والدين آمين والحمد لله رب العالمين إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغي يعظكم لعلكم تذكرون أقم الصلاه